Hey everyone, how's it going? Hey, so listen, the other day I published a video about how to add PowerPoint slides to your video when you're editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. And we've looked at it both ways. We say, okay, if you wanna add the actual slide to the video, or if you wanna overlay your video over the slide. So we looked at both ways. However, some of you have said, okay, that's all well and good if you want to add a static page to your video, but what if you want to add the animation and the transitions that's included in your PowerPoint presentation? So let me explain. When we are exporting graphics from, or no, exporting the slides as a graphic from PowerPoint, we're just creating a graphic, right? So it's a static page, a static graphic. But many of us in our PowerPoint presentations have some pretty cool animation. Can we bring the animation over to the video? Yes, we can. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So to do that, let me give you, uh, let's make an example here. Uh, I have a short PowerPoint presentation and as you can see over here, there are animation features included, and there are also transition features. So if we come over here, we also see some more animation, more animation, and so on and so forth. And in fact, if I go ahead and play it, you notice, oh, wow, well, look at that. Ooh, the graphics exploded, that's awesome. And oh, look, we've got a slide building. You know, all of the stuff that you're used to when it comes to a PowerPoint presentation, right? Well, we can't bring this over if we export all these pages as graphics, but we can bring it over if we export it as a movie. Yes, you can. So we're gonna come up here to file, and I am going to come down here to export and uh, right here, create a video, create a video. And so here you have some options. You can, you can export it as a full on 4K, which is actually kind of cool if you wanna zoom up on certain aspects of the, of the PowerPoint presentation, but I'm not gonna do that with this. I'm just gonna go with good old full HD 1080. And then I do not have any voiceover narration in this particular presentation, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, however, I am gonna say, okay, five seconds spent on each slide. Well, now, what are we gonna do with that five seconds spent on each slide? Some slides I want to speak to longer than other slides. What happens if you know every slide just has five seconds? Don't worry, I'm gonna show you what to do with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and create the video and save it here to example, save. And down here, you kind of see it saving and doing its thing, all right? So with that in place, and that'll be over here in just a moment, we are now gonna come over to our Adobe Premiere Pro, all right? And I'm gonna do a couple of things. I'm going to bring over some video footage of me talking, right, just as an example. And then I am going to bring over the PowerPoint video that we just created, all right? So I'm gonna pull this on over and check this out. If I start playing, lo and behold, there's our PowerPoint presentation with all that nifty, cool, animation that we wanted to bring over, okay? And it spends five seconds on each slide. But now you're probably looking at this going, well now there's no way I can talk that fast, right? How am I going to do the voiceover to this when, uh, when it's going so quickly? Well, here's the thing. We can slow this down wherever we like, all right? So, Let's come back over here for a moment and notice, all right, we have these two bullets that jump up pretty quickly. Let's say we want to pause on that bullet right there. We want to pause there for a while. Well, I can come over here and right click and go to insert frame hold segment. All right, I insert that. And lo and behold, folks, what this did was it just basically took that little 
section here and created a frame, created a graphic, right? And I can make that graphic as large as I want or as small as I want. And then I go ahead and bring in the rest and now it pauses. So check this out. We're at the beginning of the slide. We got the title going. We have the first bullet comes up and then it pauses and then the second bullet comes up, all right? So we can do that everywhere. So let's say we want to pause at that second bullet there for a moment, right? So I can go ahead and once again, insert frame hold segment, and I can make that pause as long and short as I want. And lo and behold, it pauses on the first, the second comes up and it pauses on the second, and then we go on to the next one, all right? So that's how we can adjust the timing of the PowerPoint presentation. So what I actually recommend that folks do is go ahead and record a video of yourself. Here, let me come back and talk to you for a sec. Go ahead and record a video of yourself, just like we're doing right now, right? Just like we're doing right now. Record a video of yourself presenting the presentation, all right? And then what you can do is pull that video over into Adobe Premiere Pro, and then you can insert those hold segments to time it up with your video. So let me show you what I mean. We'll come back over here, and I'm gonna come over with this video right here, and we want the, We'll, we'll go ahead and say we want us to be a little bit smaller. Remember, we talked about this in another video, so I'm going to scale us down, and I'm going to move us over and all that, right? So now as we go about talking and talking and messing around and so on and so forth, we can actually time our hold segments to work with the video, okay? So you can just basically go in and mess with the timing all you like. So that's how you can bring slides over and include the animations integrated into your PowerPoint presentation, all right? So I hope with this was helpful. I'm getting these ideas from you guys, right? When you put in the comments and so forth and you ask me questions, keep the questions coming. I'll keep making these things for you. All right. So have a fantastic day and we'll talk to you again soon.